Basi, you are a data scientist, a graduate of uh, Cambridge. Where do you situate uh, data science in the in the broader uh, domain of computer science and mathematics? Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, so firstly, I think in tackling that question, you want to first get a sense for where computer science sits with respect to mathematics. I think the word science occurring in computer science for the most part is a bit of a misnomer because I think computer science is essentially a sub-branch of mathematics, specifically a sub-branch of discrete mathematics, um, focusing on essentially computation. And why we call it a science, I'm not entirely sure. That being said, there are aspects of computer science that end up being deeply empirical. Um, a lot of machine learning research, if you look at papers in machine learning, you'll find that a lot of results are presented highly empirically. And so it goes slightly beyond mathematics, which isn't an empirical field, but nonetheless, for the most part, computer science, I would say, is an applied subfield of mathematics. Data science, on the other hand, I don't think um, fits into that description because I think data science is ultimately at least aspiring to be a science. So whether we take sciences like physics or chemistry or biology, these are sciences where you have a certain scientific protocol. I don't want to use the term scientific method. I think it's too narrowly constrained and defined typically, but you have a certain way of protocol by which you interrogate the world critically. This empirical feedback, you make observations about the world, you have tentative theories, and this feedback you get from your observations selects some theories and other theories get eliminated. And you keep doing this process over and over again, building knowledge. Physics, chemistry, biology, psychology, many of the social sciences ultimately, in principle, are meant to follow the same logic. Data science, in some ways, is... I like to think of data science as a almost as, as a, you can sort of imagine it as, a, as an explorer. You're going into maybe the depths of the ocean where no person has gone before. So what I mean by that is imagine you're, a phys, you're trained as a physicist or you're trained as a chemist and you, you're steeped in the, the rich thinking style of the scientist within a certain domain. If you then become a data scientist, you're bringing that style of thinking to a completely different problem, whether that's problems related to Facebook user data, in which case this is social media and the social dynamics on the internet. Um, you have tons of observational data coming out of this and you want to apply the scientific method, scientific, scientific protocols to understand this phenomena better. So I think data science in some ways is like a science without a specific domain it's an abstracted version of science. Now, to do that, we need lots of mathematical tools, lots of computational tools, lots of statistical tools, lots of, well, programmatic tools. And so computer science and mathematics in that sense come as a fit in as the toolkit of a data scientist. But data science in some ways, in my view, why it's, I wouldn't call it a superset, you know? It, it's, it's quite tricky. I, 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 I wouldn't, I, I, I'm not sure how geometrically one might, you know, it's not a Venn diagram or I wouldn't call it that. Um, I see, I've seen online, if you Google, if you Google how does computer science, data science and statistics relate, for instance, you'll see Venn diagrams and stuff. And I don't think that that's the right way to think about it. I think data science is an abstracted form of science without a domain. A scientist without a science is what I would describe a data scientist as. And such a scientist needs mathematical and computational tools and therefore needs to dip their toes into a good amount of math and a good amount of computer science. Th thank you, Basi. It's a, it's a fairly uh, good uh, nuanced uh, discussion on uh, this. Thank you very much.